what is up everybody today i'm bringing you guys an extra special skateboarding video and it's special not just because i got my hair cut actually because i got my hair cut i actually need a little bit more padding for my head so i went and i picked up a helmet we're gonna be talking about the helmet today it is the dual certified triple eight multi-sport helmet and now that i've actually been skateboarding a little bit more i've realized that I can fall a lot, you know, learning to jump onto things, learning to go off curbs, learning to do a bunch of things in the ramps and the pools. I need a helmet for my head because uh, I, I want to be able to go into those things with a lot more confidence. I feel like the little kids, you ever watch a little kid skateboard? Those people have, or like scooter, those people have crazy confidence. They'll just go jump whatever. I'm old enough to know that I could die, right? I'm a little bit older. So uh, I'm gonna be using a helmet for a lot of those things. And I figured I might as well make a little bit of a video talking about the helmet and talking about why I think, uh, you know, some people should get helmets. A lot of people are on the fence. A lot of people like helmets are super uncool. I don't really want a helmet. Well, you know what? Helmets are uncool. They're, they're pretty dumb. So I do think I'm only really going to use the helmet when I'm attempting something new. But again, getting that confidence to do it the first few times with the helmet might be what I actually need to push me over into learning a trick that I think might be a little bit out of reach. So let's talk about this helmet. This is a triple eight dual certified helmet. I messed up my box a little bit. I've actually had it for a couple days, um, but I haven't really used it. You can see in the back right there, it says ways to wear the helmet. You want to wear the helmet uh, facing more forward, uh, covering my huge temple right here. But let's just uh, pull it out of the box here and let's look at it. So pulling this thing out of the box, and also we're gonna do some tricks with this helmet a little bit later on in the video. We're gonna pull the helmet out of the box, and I ended up getting the large, extra large. I tried the small and the small medium, but that was with my huge head of hair that I, I cut off recently. Actually, by the way, having this this nice haircut, it's so much easier to like skateboard. Uh, it's so much easier to do stuff without all this hair. So anyways, you see the owner's manual. There's a bunch of extra pads. I think that's why it's called a large or extra large. You can put the different size pads in if you want to make it a different size. Let's uh, take this off right here. And uh, let's try the helmet on. I think right now there's the, uh, well, one of the pads are in. Let's put the helmet on, see what it looks like. Another good thing is like, I, I know I did get a haircut, but you know, uh, my hair still gets in my face. It still gets in my face when I'm skateboarding. So let's put this helmet on. Oh man, there we go. Put the helmet on. There we go. And so again, they said you don't want to really wear it like this to show off your huge temple. You want to wear it like here. And so, I mean, it probably needs just a little bit tighter. Probably just a wee bit tighter. And let's actually look at this for like one second. I don't know why this is all like that. That's all weird. Okay, we put this up here. There's a little bit of a rubber thing you can take to keep that. There we go, that's perfect. This is actually a really comfortable helmet. And uh, I, I, I really wanna try to, you know, practice going off ledges and learning like acid drops and stuff like that, learning how to grind. And so I really feel that this is gonna be a good idea because I'm gonna fall backwards a lot. I know, I already know that I'm gonna fall backwards quite a bit. There is a little bit of wiggle room. And so I feel I might want the slightly pattier pads. Let's actually take these out of the bag and let's look at them. Oh yeah, these are way pattier pads. Let's put them on. Let's see what they look like when you put them on. So you take these pads, you can take these ones out right here. You can see the inside of the helmet, there's little Velcro spots where these things go. Little Velcro spots, so much better. Oh yeah, that, that's a good fit there too. So yeah, helmet looks great. Um, I know there's are, there are some YouTubers that use a lot of helmets too for, for skateboarding. And I, I, I would say that like that's part of their brand. So. Uh, Pretty cool for them to actually promote people using helmets. I think more people should be using helmets. We're gonna move on to the, the number one most important thing about helmets, obviously, because they look so uncool. You gotta do something to make it look cool, right? You gotta do something. So we are going to put some stickers on. I got a lot of stickers. I'm gonna put this sticker on it. We got a Bones sticker. Oh yeah, you see that? That's pretty good. Pretty good, we can focus this camera. No, I think I turned the focus off. You know what? It looks way better. We could also put some, uh, stuff in the back. I got a Zero sticker that came with my newest board. I got some stickers for some local skate shops in the area. We got Lion Skateboarding, we got Abstract Skateboarding. Uh, I got some, I got a Spitfire sticker that came with some of my wheels. And I got the uh, Triple Eight, the logo for the um, helmet that I got today. I think I might put the Zero sticker on the back of the helmet. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. Like it could totally go like right there if I wanted it to but I might have to mess with that. But you know what? Now that we've got our helmet, I think it's about time. I think it's about time 
we go test out some tricks. Uh, you know, I've been doing this channel for about two weeks now, so I have a fair bit of tricks in my bag. My bag of tricks, per se. So let's go take this helmet outside and go to the backyard, obviously, and see what we can get done. Let's go do some tricks. Here we go. The trick that I've been working on most recently is actually my ollies. Working on getting them higher, working on getting them more consistent, and then after that, actually learning to do them while moving. Uh, I feel I'm pretty lucky that I caught on to the ollie as early as I did. I've only really been doing this for a couple weeks, and I knew a little bit of how to ollie before that, but actually putting it into practice and then learning how to do it and then trying to do that while moving is a lot harder than I originally thought it was going to be. So it's all a matter of like mind over matter and actually having this helmet, while it is a super heavy helmet, this is, I do wanna say it, this is a super heavy helmet. Having the helmet actually helps my confidence and helps me, you know, learn how to do the trick without the fear of falling. Then we have the Beebleheimer, then the Casper Plop, the fan favorite strawberry milkshake, and last but not least, shove -its. I've actually found that shove -its are probably my favorite trick to do. It feels really cool getting the board to rotate below me, and I'm actually at a level where I'm not afraid to land back on the board with both feet every time. Like, I have a lot of cool shove -it ideas I want to work into practice once I'm more comfortable with them, so expect to see a lot more shove -it videos in the future. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to wear a helmet in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.